Hi, uh, my name's Roger, and uh, for my sins, I was uh, I started Barbe, which is a wool duvet company. And people say to me, "How did this happen?" Well, to be honest, uh, it's a long, long time ago that the road to Barbe actually started, because I've got to go back to when I was a boy, and I just loved the outdoors. Couldn't wait to get um, on a bike and, and cycle into onto the horizon. But things really changed. Uh, well, I joined the Scouts and we used to go camping, but unfortunately the, the Scouts uh, collapsed, the, the, uh, so we, we couldn't have that anymore. And, I, and then I went to a new school and the uh, teacher in the summer term said, um, we're going to have a school camp. Who, who would like to go? My hand went up first. So it was to go to Wales. So I went up to him and said, uh, do I have to go on the coach, sir? Or can I get some mates and we go uh, on our bikes? Uh, this is not in modern times, obviously. This is a long time ago when really times were better. Uh, but then there wasn't the traffic. So we said, yeah, fine. So we headed off, uh, five or six of us, on our bikes, 120, 140 miles. Ended up sleeping in the back of a lorry uh, because uh, we got there a day early before the others. But the thing was... For the first time, I saw mountains. And I know, sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional, but it was like that. It was, wow, mountains. I couldn't get over it. And we climbed our first mountain, which was Cadaridris. And he was a keen swimmer, this teacher. And he said, come on, lads, we're going to swim across the lake. Ice cold, freezing ice cold, mountain lake. I couldn't believe it. It was fabulous. I couldn't wait to get back to Wales again. That's it for part one. I can't go on any longer. <laughs>